guy. You never say this white guy. You say this guy. So why when you mention a nigga, listen to me. Why when you mention a black guy, you have to say this black guy? Say, but no, see, Romanian this language is coming from Latin language. The accusation may be against same race, same race. the fourth official here. Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back with... We're back here. <laughs> We're back here. And you know me, or my loyal subscribers, my subscribers from day one, you know what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to shy away from, from, from the black experience videos, the race videos. I'm never going to shy away from that. So I'm back again with an educational video. And you're going to be educated. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be educated. You have to. And I'm going to continue. So if you notice my face is shiny, it's because I'm extremely tired. And I just splashed some water on my face. You know what? I'm going to do it again. Sorry, I, I should be editing these things out. But you know, you know me. I don't really do the editing too much. I just kind of... I just get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to explain everything that's happened here and what's wrong and what's right and what's okay and what's not okay. Okay, now sit tight. I'm really going to break this down and make it simple. I know there's going to be people in the comments um, trying to chat shit about this and all that stuff. So I'm literally going to break this down very, very simple. Before I get into that, yeah, I want to say my piece on something. I've dealt with a lot of racism in my life. A lot. A lot. A hell of a lot. From, like I said, I've said in previous videos, the first time I got called a wog, I think I was 10 years old, you know what I'm saying? But the traumas that we go through as black people is it's not fun, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's something that you could, uh, anyone who's not black will never understand, ever. It's a different reality, it's a different, it's a completely different life experience. However, as I was getting a bit older, the racism was kind of like stopping a little bit, you know, we were modernising. Do you know what the maddest thing is? The irony, the irony. In 25 years, 2020 was the first year that people actually started to listen to the black experience, started to listen to what was going on, started to see how badly we were getting treated in this world and things like that and the opportunities X, Y, Z. The irony is, I've experienced more racism this year than I have in the last few years in quite a while. And do you know why that is? Because when people start to get empowered, whether it's women starting to get empowered and, and they're standing up to their abusers, you get more men coming out the woodwork like, oh, she's lying or oh, she's doing it for clout and this, that and the other. The same thing is with race. The more this year we've been empowered, the spotlight's been on us. Oh my God, is this what black people have been going through? Damn, is this what systemic racism is? Damn, I didn't even realise. And then you got, when, when you've got, when you've got a, uh, when you've got a force or an action, whatever you want to call it, there's always going to be an equal or greater reaction. I can't remember what that's called in science, but that's called sci scientific. You know what I'm saying? Someone, someone who's scientific based, tell me what that is. So when you've got black people empowered this year, there's, it, I, I, sh I, I'm, I shouldn't have been surprised that a lot of white people in the UK, a lot of white people in the America were becoming a lot more anti- Oh look, we got black people on adverts now, and oh, where's our England gone? And all this, nah, 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 all this dumb, idiotic, nationalistic approach. You know what? It's not even nationalistic. It's jingoistic. Yeah, see, your boy is smart. You get a lot. You get some people in my comments here who are like, oh, look at this guy. Uh, he talks like he talks like like like. But I'm smarter than you, big man. Define Google what jingoism means. That's what that's what's happening in this UK. People start to become a bit more jingoistic, and they're starting to become a bit more riled up when they see black people. Um, getting empowered and that's what's happening and I just wanted to say that piece because it, it worries me that we're never actually ever going to change you know it, it, I, I really thought this year was a turning point but I was, I was being naive it, it was never going to be a turning point it, the, the spotlight was just on us for a few months and that's it we go back to what we go back to it's just the way life goes now anyway let's get back into this video because I'm going to educate people very quickly and very simply disclaimer we all saw the video at the start of this video Okay, if you haven't seen in the news, Demba Bar, the football player, called out the referee or the fourth official for what he said when he was describing the player. Now, disclaimer. This is a big disclaimer because this is what's going to be in the comment section. This is what I've seen in the comment section of my friends. This is what I, this is what I know. This is what, Ignorant white people, yeah. I'm not saying, not all white people, if you feel offended, you're clearly the shoe fits. Ignorant white people, yeah. They love to just, they, 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 they don't, you don't like to listen. It's always, you always have to make a point. You don't like to listen. It's this is the ignorant white people. You don't listen. So I'm going to give you a disclaimer right now. And I don't want to see no bollocks in the comments. Because if you see bollocks in the comments, that means you ain't watched. You understand? Or listen. We are black. It's that simple. So being, when you describe someone who's black here, that is not racist. Okay, I'm, I'm putting that out there right now. 
if you're describing a black man who's you say he's black that's not racist okay i want to put that out there right now we we want to be seen Okay, as, as a black community, we want to be seen. We don't want to hear the, we don't see color. We don't want to hear all that. Because no, 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 because that's not the way you get, you, get to, you get to say that you don't see color. We don't. We get to experience the black experience, whether we like it or not, whether we see it or not. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, that's the, the reality that we live. So we like to be called black. That's what we are. Nothing, no colored, because white's a color, is it not? So you're colored as well, if you're white. So we don't want to hear no colored. You don't want to hear nothing like that. We're not, because... I'll get into why that's an issue and all that stuff. Black is fine, yeah? You can call me mixed race if you want. I'm mixed race in it, but I identify as black. That's my life experience, it's all been black. The white people push me into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm fully, I'm fully black, I don't care what no one says. You know, I obviously I acknowledge I'm mixed race, I acknowledge my white side, I live with a white family, I get that. But that's not who I am, I'm black. So, we want to be seen. That's first things first. So, let me get that, let me put that out there right now. When you call someone black, a black person black, that, that's not racist. That's that's fine, the white guy over there, the black guy, whatever. The problem with what the fourth official did, it, it, one, it's extremely unprofessional, extremely unprofessional. You would not, as Denver Bar said, you would not yeah, have described a white football player or a Chinese football player as that white football player. Or you know how these Romanian, what, 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 some of these white people, they'd be saying, oh yeah, that yellow football player as an Asian. Well, that's actually just racist. That's, that's playing out racist. But you wouldn't describe, oh, um, Bell so say it's Bellerin, uh, right back, white, right back, Spanish. You wouldn't go, oh, yeah, the white, the white, the white guy with the long hair. They don't do that. So it's one, it's extremely unprofessional. Two, once again, it reinforces this idea that we're the other. Do you know what I'm saying? Does, does that make sense? This is, this is, this is, this is high level intellect. This is, you, have to, you have to really listen to this one here. It reinforces the fact that black people, minorities are the other. Once again, an alien in a white world, a white space. Do you understand? If you're, if you're, if you're a fourth official, if you're a match day official for a Champions League game, do you think it's appropriate to describe the man over there when you're, if you're trying to describe a football player to your, to your man, to your um, colleague, and you say, oh, it's the black guy over there, and obviously in his language, it's Negro or something like that. It's the Negro over there. I don't care if Negro means black in a different language. You don't. You shouldn't be describing him like that in that setting. It doesn't. It's just not professional. Okay, if you're chatting to your friends and it's oh, it's the black guy, or whatever. I got no problem with that because that's what he is. He's the black guy. But is that is that the first thing you see when you want to describe someone? This is the problem, and a lot of ignorant white people go, but but he is black. Watch. Look in the comments. Look in the comments right now. People will say it. Oh, but but he is black. Oh no, but black people get offended at everything. Oh look. Oh, be yeah. Shut up you pussy old. start listening start listening no it's not us it's not black people being all artsy fartsy and soft no it's not that it's the opposite if you know what we've been through it's not about being soft bro it's actually we're hardened because of what we go through it's nothing about being soft and oh you can't please any you oh, all these black people are oh, oh they're all so soft oh, just get out the country then if you don't like it here just get out the country oh, oh yeah I'll give oh, I'll fuck off then I'll fuck off out the country oh yeah you know if you don't like it here if you don't like it here fuck off you know what I'm saying I can I can hear it I can hear the vim in their comments I can hear it with a union jack flag if you don't like it here fuck off nah you have to realise this ain't your world no more boy you know what I'm saying it's not we're here to stay and it's your job to listen because we've dealt with this for too long. It's boring. It's boring. Now I'm telling you right now, categorically, what the referee said, it wasn't illegal and it wasn't racist. Okay, it wasn't. It was just extremely ignorant and it was dumb. Because you just why would you do why would you why do you, what this was so funny? It's mad that people can think that's acceptable. That that's the first thing you see when you describe someone that oh, okay, the, the black guy. Because that's what makes him different, it's a distinguishing feature. Now a lot of people will say, listen, they don't mind being called the black guy. Okay, I don't mind being called the black guy in the right setting. As I said, it's extremely unprofessional. You would not have said that. As Demba Bar said, yeah, the referee would not have described the white man like that. So you just have to ask yourself, why? Do you know what I'm saying? And, and, and once again, it makes you feel like alienated. It makes you, it makes you aware of your race. We, we, we as black people want to live the same life as everyone else. Go, you know, go to school, get an education, better ourselves. We don't want to constantly be reminded that we're different to you. Do you know what I'm saying? We're oh, the black guy. And a lot of people might not see a problem with that. I do. 
my friends do. My family do. Do you know what I'm saying? So clearly we're not psycho here, but then you'll get people in the comments, you'll get people, you get people extreme backlash and say, oh, oh these are so pansy, you can't even say black now, you can't even say this. Sh shut up and listen. Stop being such a keyboard warrior. You ain't, you ain't about it. But if you comment all this stuff on, you, on YouTube, you're not about it, P point blank, period. You're not about nothing on like you're not on smoke, you're not on crud, you're not on anything, you're soft. If you're on if you're on this if you're on this um trolling thing and commenting thing, racist thing, you're soft. You're coward. You ain't you're not on it, you know what I'm saying? So you might as well you might as well save a, save like a scrap of dignity and just not comment. Do yourself a favor and when you feel that urge to comment that ignorant racist comment you want to comment or defend a system that is always designed to put us down, how about just take that one extra second? To think why are black people really crying and moaning and, and and doing this all because of we got called black you really think you really think we do that or is it because of the actual experience that we go through is it is it the trauma of every single time we turn into twitter turn onto youtube we see our our, our community getting literally murdered or or you know i'm in the i'm in the ends or whatever and i see the people in the block are all my people or Grenfell Tower and there's no justice for them and they're all minorities and they're all my people no justice for them we see that every day you, you can't you, if you're not if you're not part of that community you'll never understand and it's it, it's it's always start listening rather than talking you feel me but listen I'm, I don't think this video is going to get monetized every every single video I've done on race has not been monetized um, it's just the it's the it's the price we pay for talking real shit you know what I'm saying? I'm never gonna change. I'm always gonna keep talking this real shit until it until it just gets. I've I've helped educate so many people since I've been doing this race stuff. You know, way before I had 8,000 subscribers, I had my friends in the ends, the white people that I used to, some of the white people I went to school with, really reaching out to me. So people pe and saying that I'm sorry, uh, not not apologizing, but as in that like, sorry you had to experience this and all this. Now I don't want to hear no sorry. You don't need to feel guilty. I just want people to be educated. I just want people to understand and empathize. I don't want to hear. Oh, sorry for your experience. Okay, it's all good. Don't worry. We've been here 25 years of it. Don't worry about that. I've been through. I've been through a lot. Well, not a lot worse. I've been through a lot of things at 25 years old. A lot of 25, 25 years old shouldn't have been through. But you know, it, it is what it is. We don't want to hear no sorry. We just want to hear. Okay, I hear you. I'm listening to you. Do you see the problem of 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 in that setting when you're surrounded by people? Can you not say, oh, number nine? The, the, like, 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 to, to be honest, if you're a referee, you should be knowing who's on that pitch. I'm sorry, you should be knowing who's on that pitch. I mean, that's just that's what I think anyway. But you just don't see the problem that you're in. You got a whole group of people there. Oh yeah, the, 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 the uh, negro, yeah negro, negro, negro one, negro uno, or whatever, whatever the hell he's saying. Black one. Big up your thing, Denver Bar. I'm glad the game got cancelled. Big up every single time racism happens on a football pitch. Walk off. Because the fans don't deserve it. Like if when fans are throwing bananas and this on 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 um what do, 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 what where it's a madness. How do you ever see a white person get a banana thrown at them? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what, you know? What? I'm gonna go to a football pitch here and I'm gonna dash flipping fish and chips at um Luke Shaw. It's that's a white football player. I'm gonna dash fish and chips and, <laughs> and watch watch the shit erupt. Anyway, enough of the stereotype, and I'm only, I'm only joking in it. But either way. I hope you lot, I hope you people that are listening to this and you feel like, oh, treading on eggshells. You don't have to tread on eggshells. Just think, just think, just think. Is this the right setting to be to, to be differentiating people like that? We're not asking for much, are we? Jesus Christ! And this 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 is what the irony about all these all these nationalistic people is. You think we're asking for it all? You think we're asking for the world? We ain't. We're asking for equality. And one day, I swear to God, before I die, I'm gonna see it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you um, for all my new subscribers. The momentum slowed down now. Like with that Dutch Belly video, I got bare subscribers. The momentum slowed down now. So I'm, I'm still hoping to get to 10K by the end of the year. But who knows? Hopefully, there's another nonce in the, in the works that, <laughs> that I could expose <laughs> or talk about. Not expose, just talk about. Um, anyway, man, peace and love and big up Demba Bar, man. <laughs>